Hey squad and welcome back to my channel and welcome back of course to yet another video just for you guys and this one is going to be dedicated to spring because um, as you all know spring is already here which means summer is much much closer than it was but besides the point what's also um, one of the things that happen when um, spring arrives is that the sun comes out and when the sun comes out um, the shade, the shade gets real, which means uh, you need something to protect you from the shade, obviously. So today I decided to do a short, quick, fun video where I show you all the sunglasses that I have. Um, first of all, I don't have that many. Um, in total, I have five different sunglasses. And these just vary in um, shape and size, I would say, um, because color is mo the color is mostly the same. Um, but yes, uh, uh, due, um, due to the fact that I live on the coast, um, I'm, I'm momentarily not there at the moment, but like, um, yeah, I live on the coast, which means it's most of the time it's really, really sunny there. And, um, of course, one of the things that I literally cannot live without are sunglasses. And, uh, like I said, today I'm going to show you all the ones that I have. So the first ones are going to be these ones that look like this. As you can see from up close, they have this kind of like leopard print. Um and they look a little purple, purple the glasses. And when you put them on, they look somewhat like this. So as you can see, they're straight at the top and then the bottoms are rounded. Um, excuse my ugly ass nails. Um, we're not even gonna discuss that, but anywho. So they're straight on the top and as you can see, they're rounded at the bottom. They are quite big. Um, so these are definitely, um, they, they, give, they give you somewhat of a shade. Um, they cover most of my face because my face is very tiny and small. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of like um, big sunglasses. Um, I think you're going to get a hint of that quite soon when I show you all of them. Um, so yeah, these would be the first pair. And um, I think I got these at a flea market. I'm not sure how long ago because I feel like I've had them for absolutely forever. But yeah, this, this would be the first pair. The second pair that I want to show you is from a store that I think we all know. Uh, it's called Stradivarius, and this is a pair that I got myself over there. Ouch, literally just pinched myself, nevertheless. This is the second pair, this is how they look. They're totally, totally black, and they have this um, cat shape um, to, the, to the lenses, as you can see, and when you put them on, they look somewhat like this. I don't like to put them fully like on like this because I feel like it does not look as good. Um, I just like to kind of lower them just a little bit, um, so these are definitely more of a, I would say, fashion um, type of sunglasses because they don't give you, I'm going to say coverage again because I don't know how to express it. I don't think they give you that much shade because from up top here, of course, the sun can like shine into your eyes directly and they're not, they're not that big. So I, I would definitely say this is more of a fashion trend type of thing. Um, these are uh, definitely more of a fashion statement than they are for protection. But yeah, so this would be the second pair of the sunglasses. Like I said, I got them at um, Stradivarius. I don't know the price points, but usually I never pay more than 10 euros for glasses. I mean, for sunglasses, because I feel like it's always a trend thing and it's very hard to find glasses that are gonna stick throughout the years with you. And therefore I just kind of um, do not um, approve of spending too much money on sunglasses because to me personally, it seems kind of pointless especially because I am one of those people who literally breaks sunglasses on a like on a yearly basis like I I, I, I break a pair at least a year um, just because I throw it in my purse I forget about it and then I don't know I'll throw my purse around or I just I don't I don't look after it as much so therefore again I don't want to spend too much money on it this would be the third pair that I got so this uh, this is a pair of sunglasses that I got from H&M they also have really nice sunglasses and these are definitely something else. Like I said, they're huge once again because I love big sunglasses. But these are not um, straight at the top as you can see. So the both lenses are shaped um, on its own. They're not connected uh, at the top or at the bottom clearly. And once again, it's a leopard um, kind of pattern that they are. Um, the lenses are quite, quite dark. And th th these are the glasses that I feel like would be for me personally, once again, like we don't all have the same style um, in anything, clearly. So uh, these for me are the sunglasses that I would wear to anything. Like I feel like these are the, the sunglasses that would fit anything. They're not 
um, too fashionable and they're not that simple either. So I feel like they're a good combo. So yes, that would be the third pair, like I said. And then we're gonna continue to the fourth pair, which I also got at um, Stradivarius. And this is something that definitely reminds me, um, not just me, but like anybody who saw me wearing these glasses usually always says that I'm trying to, um, uh, that I'm trying to imitate uh, the Kardashians because um, I don't know, I, f I feel like these are the type of glasses that they would wear, maybe like Chloe or Kim, I'm not sure. Um, nevertheless, these are again straight at the top and they're very like square looking at the bottom. And they have just one big lens, as you can see, entirely, entirely black. So these are also, I would say, much, much more fashionable. I'm trying to turn and twist it just so you can see them from every angle possible. They definitely give you enough shade. Um, so this is something maybe that I would wear, I don't know, to the beach. Or if I'm wearing um, a fashionable, trendy outfit, this would definitely be the piece to go with it. So um, I've been wearing these quite, quite a lot and I'm obsessed with them just so you can see them up close a little bit as well. So like I said, these are also from Stradivarius. And then not last but not least, uh, I'm going to, okay, my baby hairs, I'm going to show you a pair of glasses that I got in a giveaway actually. I received um, this in a giveaway that was going on on Instagram, <sighs> but I've seen these glasses, like I said, everywhere. And I've always wanted to have them, but um, for me personally, they're kind of pricey. Um, so they're polarized high key uh, sunglasses and they are from Quay and Desi collection. If you can see right over here, it's written. And uh, yeah, they're, they're the Quay sunglasses. You can see here as well where it says the sign. And these definitely remind, um, I mean, these are definitely more different uh, than the other ones that I have, but yet they're still black. I just feel like black goes with everything. So I don't like sunglasses in color. And these are once again, very, very big. Uh, I might also even say that these are a bit too big for my face, but for some reason, I don't know. I just, I, I guess I don't care. Um, I like the way they look on me. They have separate lenses, black once again, uh, and they don't have a circular shape. They look more like a, like an egg, you want to call it? I don't know. Not so sure. Um, I feel like this gives you shade like from this direction, but if like from the sides or like from the top, not so much, but they are, they are very cute and I feel like they do go with um, any outfit because like I said, they're a staple black um, pair of sunglasses. So yeah, that's how they look from Quail, um, Quay, sorry, not Quail, it's Quay. Um, I think this is an Australian brand um, of sunglasses, not quite sure. And I know this was a collaboration that Desi Perkins uh, did with them. If any of you are uh, makeup lovers out there uh, and you know who Desi Perkins is, she's also a makeup artist um, that has a quite big uh, YouTube channel and she's been quite su successful. This is um, this is uh, a pair of sunglasses that she did in an entire collection with them. So yeah, this was a short uh, video that I did for you guys. I hope you like it. I just wanted to show you what type of sunglasses I like to wear and what type of sunglasses uh, I own. Uh, like I said, I don't like to spend too much money on them because I personally think it's a kind of a waste of money um, since we do have trends uh, coming in and out. Uh, so yeah, I do like to wear sunglasses because there's nothing that bothers you more than the sunlight when it's going like directly to your eyes and you can't even like, you're halfway like closing your eyes, you can't see anything. So sunglasses are definitely very important. Uh, also for the UV protection from the sun. And they are of course a, um, a lovely, lovely um, fashion item that can kind of uh, spice up any outfit out there. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below which pair of sunglasses was your favorite. And what kind of sunglasses do you like to wear? Where do you shop them? Where do you buy them? I always like to read your comments, so please make sure to leave some. Um, and yeah, if you haven't yet joined the E-Squad family, please make sure you do and subscribe at the bottom, uh, bottom button. And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.